So the rules of the Minecraft Nuzlocke. First, you only get one of each tool. One pickaxe, one axe, one sword. Doesn't matter the type, you just get one. Then, you only get one stack of any block. Bed, that's one. Dirt, that's 64. And you can't use any more. So when I load into the game, I have one goal. I need to explore so I can find some ore that is better than what I have seen before. And what I mean by this is that I need to find either iron or diamond or something that I can make some tool of that I need. So I head into the desert so I can find either a desert temple or village with some iron or diamonds to make a pickaxe. And while we're in the desert, I want to bring up that 99.9% .9 of people that watch my content are not subscribed. This is because our channel is new and will be the new big thing. So, if you were to subscribe and leave a rating on the video, it would be very much appreciated, and it's free, why not? So in the desert village, I find some wheat to make some bread to eat, and I don't find a blacksmith or anything. Find a bed, but I can only use one of those. And I don't kill the iron golem because I respect him and he guards the village. AKA, I forgot. So I keep wandering throughout the desert, and I find a desert temple, let's go. So inside, I'm either hoping I can just grab the TNT so I can blow up some iron later, but what I'm really hoping for is that I can get some diamonds or iron to make a pickaxe. So I disarm the trap, look in the chest for something good, and best case scenario, three diamonds, that's exactly what I need to complete this Minecraft Nuzlocke. So I grab the TNT to get fast block collection for later. So I find a nearby cave to engrave my diamond pick into the walls and grab some iron for this challenge. I mine up the ore like you haven't seen before, and then I make a bucket because it will help me make a nether portal and do cool water bucket clutches. So I grab all the dirt I'll ever need, aka just a stack then make armor, shield, bow, and get some flint for later. So after this, it's time to go to the nether. I do the thing that the green goblin taught us all to do. Oh, Gavin. Then speed through my portal so I can get into the nether as fast as possible. We've got to get away from those hunters. So now that I'm in the nether, I get that cool purple achievement. Then I want to go get some gold so I can start trading with pigmen later. So I mine stacks and stacks of gold while searching for that nether fortress while I'm on this trip. Then I tower down to sand on my way to the newly found nether fortress. So I head over, then tower up with dirt, head in and go and kill some blazes and find that blaze spawner. And while I kill these blazes, I go and mine some more gold so I can get more chances of getting ender pearls so I can go to the end. And while I'm killing these blazes, why not comment down below and leave a like if you've liked the video so far. Leaving the nether fortress, I realize I'm low on blocks, so I get some soul soil so I can continue on, on my journey. Try saying that five times fast. So, I trade with a bunch of pigmen, try to get some ender pearls, but it's taken a while. So, as I try to bridge across the nether, I just decide, why not jump into the lava instead? It's faster. But not in this case! I tried to speed bridge with soul sand, but that was not a good idea. So I use the technique I learned from Dream to use the invincibility from relogging to switch my fire resistance potion in my hotbar and drink it. Epic technique! So, I trade with a bunch more piglins so I get the ender pearls that I need to make on with my journey back into the overworld. So I make a new portal back to the mortal plane, then I go on to search for the stronghold of the end. So what I do is grab some food from a nearby village so I can feed myself. Then I throw out an eye of ender so I can head out on the rest of my journey. Found the stronghold pretty fast, so I dig down and I enter. Well, it's been a nice journey, but we're not done yet. We still gotta kill that dragon. And while I'm looking around the stronghold, I find a new chest. Hey, lucky me. Got a big new axe to cleave off that ender dragon's head. Well, I can say the stronghold is a maze. And I get lost for like 10 minutes trying to find this room right here. Like I had a stack of bread before, now I have 50. That was a long journey. Loading in the eyes of Ender into the stronghold portal makes me very nostalgic of how we got here. Due to this Minecraft Nuzlocke constraint, I ran out of dirt, cobblestone, soul cell, nether rack, and even soul sand. So we just had to build up a stone brick. But hey, we made it here. So I'm gonna shoot some cleverly placed arrows into those heart crystals. Snipe all of them, whether close or far. High or low? So, let me know. Did you like the Minecraft Nuzlocke and how we made it here? Only using 64 of each block and only one kind of each tool. But we're not done yet. We gotta shoot down one more crystal and get close and personal with this ender dragon with my axe. And with five swings of this axe, that will be the video done. I thank you all for watching. That was the Minecraft Nuzlocke, aka the GGG lock. Like and subscribe. Hey guys, this is your host, G Gavin G. I thank you all for watching the video, and if you like the video, can you subscribe to my channel? It's free and you get to see a lot more Bedwars content and Minecraft challenges. And if you want to see the rest of my videos, click here!